Hello everyone, uh, welcome, it's Marek Mulacic here and in this uh, short video we're going to have a look at uh, dealing with uh, crashes uh, or not responding After Effects or Premiere Pro. So if you're having problems, for example, if you get in these where say After Effects crashes or if you get in something like this where Premiere Pro crashes and you don't know what to do. Uh, what do you, what usually helps is, of course, uh, this, oh, by the way, this will also apply to when something's not working. So, for example, if you're working in After Effects, as an example here, and if something stops working in After Effects or in Premiere, this could also be other Adobe applications in this case, like something I hear quite a lot on Adobe forums, is when people are saying that when they're working in, in say, Premiere, for example, After Effects, sometimes they try to play the comp or the sequence, and when they hit the play button, nothing happens. Now, what you could do in this case is you could just go to Window, Workspace menu, and just reset your workspace. This will usually help with some minor glitches. So that's something I would always recommend to do first before you start doing anything else, because this will be the quickest way to do this. It'll be the same in, in Premiere as well, or in other Adobe applications. But when you get to the point where this doesn't fix the problem, and this could be all kinds of problems, all kinds of issues, that's why you want to uh, res uh, reset uh, preferences for Premiere and After Effects. Okay? So I'm going to close After Effects. I'm also going to close this as well here. <laughs> and starting from from the desktop. Now, so we're going to start Premiere After Effects again, okay? However, the crucial thing here is going to be to use the keyboard shortcuts, and the thing is, you need to be quite quick, okay? So, we're going to use Control Alt Shift on Windows, Command Option Shift on a Mac, okay? But let me show you something. So, say if I open After Effects, I'm going to click on After Effects, I'm going to press Control Alt Shift in here, when it's starting, and I'm holding Control Alt Shift or Command Option Shift on the Mac, uh, you should see a dialog box, a pop up window. If you don't see it, like I'm not getting it, uh, you press the keys too late. Okay? So the key thing here is you're going to. So, so basically, the thing is. as soon as you start to launch Premiere After Effects, you need to be really quick. You need to, you need to hold Control Alt Shift or Command Option Shift on the Mac, but you need to hold them, press and hold them after you start start application. Okay, if you hold them to start with, this won't work. So, basically, as soon as I click on the After Effects icon, I'm going to hold. I'm actually holding my left hand over the keyboard, Control Alt Shift. So I'm going to click on the icon, and I'm holding Control Alt Shift, and you should get this. When you see this dialog box, you can release the keys of the keyboard. In this case, we're going to reset preferences in here. And uh, this will fix uh, many glitches, many problems in After Effects or in Premiere. Uh, not everything, obviously, <laughs> but it usually helps. Okay. Now let me do this for Premiere as well. Or let me show you. So again, I'm holding my hand, left hand of the keyboard. Premiere, Control Alt Shift, or Command Option Shift on the Mac. Just remember the key is to press these keys as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And you get this dialog box. So just to, I just wanted to show you the dialog box is almost identical, looks a little bit different. But in this case, I'm not going to do this, but you would normally just reset the app preferences in here. So what these are doing is it's like Having Premiere After Effects, or well, Photoshop or others, uh, reinstalled is like having a fresh installation of the application. Okay, so let me show you something. Uh, if I go to After Effects, which I did reset in this case, something to keep in mind is that when you reset the application, it's going to remove any changes you have made to the application preferences. So, for example, in After Effects, I always change it so that the Linear keyframe interpolation is my default. So if I go to preferences now, here, and the general category, 
in here. The tick box for the given interpolation here will, will be unticked if you did reset your preferences, okay? So you may need to change some things. Or if you customize a median disk cache, for example, you may, you may need to change it again because you're resetting all the preferences of the application. Okay, I hope this helps. Uh, so now you know how to quickly reset your application preferences in Premiere, After Effects, and other Adobe applications. This was a quick, quick uh, tip. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from MarekMularczyk.com. And uh, let me know and if, if you have any questions in the comments. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.